hello student so let us start our discussion in this tutorial we will discuss what is overlap register window in previous uh, tutorial we have discussed uh, difference between register uh, uh, sorry risk and cisc so at that time we have discussed some additional feature of risk so one of that feature was overlap register window so now we will uh, try to discuss what is overlap register window this will be the last topic from this unit that is central processing unit here the basic idea uh, behind uh, creating this uh, overlap register window is to share data between uh, various process okay uh, here total we are having total 74 registers so those registers will be divided into portion and then it will be used okay so let me try to explain you uh, what is meaning of this register let's uh, assume that we are having four process so uh, uh, this is for process a this register is for uh, register window these registers are for process a these register are for process b these register are for process d and these register are for process uh, d clear so a b c d now the registers which i have marked using uh, blue color uh, ink okay the, those registers are local to particular uh, process okay so whatever local data will be there for process a it will be stored into local register means r16 to r25 then whatever local data is there for process b it will be stored into r32 to r41 then whatever local process data is there for process c it will be stored into r48 to r57 and then whatever local data is there uh, for uh, process d it will be stored into r64 to r73 then uh, next component are this register so the registers which i have marked with uh, magenta color so those are the uh, you can say uh, uh, shared registers so let me try to explain that how this shared register will be useful so i have changed the background so you can uh, uh, clearly see everything so if process a wants to uh, share any data with uh, process d then whatever data will be there it will be stored into r10 to r15 here please uh, observe carefully here it is r10 to r15 and here also it is r10 to r15 so this uh, both register sets are same okay clear so this both register sets are same so it is like a circular arrangement then um, if process a want to uh, share data with process b then whatever data will be there uh, process a will store that data into r31 to r26 to r31 and then it will be uh, used by process b similarly process b want to uh, b wants to share data with process c then it will store that data into r42 to r47 and then process c can read that data from r42 to r47 so uh, these are the local register these are the shared register now what if process d want to share the data with a b and c or process b want to share data with the rest of the registers so in that case this global registers set will be used clear so in that case global register set means this will be common between uh, all the uh, process or procedures so whatever data let's say d want to share with all the uh, other procedure or process then uh, d will uh, put that data into these registers and rest of these uh, processes will retrieve the data from this uh, register so this is the idea behind the overlap register window so uh, if we try to calculate the window size okay then uh, let me tell you uh, if we consider this entire arrangement then it is known as register file okay and uh, uh, arrangement of these two shared uh, register set and one individual local set it is known as window okay so if we try to find out the window then uh, we can have let's say uh, for first window then this can be the second window then this can be the third window okay and uh, this can be the fourth window <coughs> clear with this 
okay so if we try to write the expression for window okay then in window <coughs> excuse me as you can see in the figure there will be one local set plus uh, two common set plus one global set okay and uh, if you look at the register file then there will be local plus common into window plus g okay so uh, if we try to calculate the window size then uh, here there will be uh, 10 register for uh, local then uh, we can say uh, 6 plus 6 uh, means uh, 12 register for common means 6 here and 6 here and then uh, another 10 global register set so total 32 so window size is 32 and same way if we try to calculate the uh, register file size okay then 10 uh, local plus uh, you can say 6 uh, shared into how many windows are there 4 window plus uh, 10 global so 74 so total number of registers uh, will be 74 clear with this so this is how uh, a register or uh, sorry overlap register window uh, will be used and uh, it uh, it will help uh, uh, it will help in uh, sharing the data between the process so with this uh, we will end this unit next video uh, we will uh, in next video uh, we will start a new unit that is pipelining and uh, there we will try to uh, understand that what is pipelining which was the feature of risk and uh, then we will see the various approaches of uh, pipelining so uh, thank you uh, stay tuned